Um, good afternoon. My name is uh, Francesca Caonero. I'm here on behalf of uh, the United Nations Office on uh, Drugs and Crime. I'm a regional coordinator uh, working for um, the Global Maritime Crime Program within the uh, Border Management Branch of uh, UNODC. Um, it's been an honor and a pleasure to be here to contribute this, to this um, regional uh, high-level conference. Uh, we particularly appreciate it from UNODC to be able to be here as um, the guardian and uh, um, the, the guardian of the United Nations Convention against uh, uh, transnational organized crime, which was one of the primary subjects uh, that were touched upon during the uh, the conference. Um, we see this uh, conference uh, uh, very comprehensive in that it approached uh, transnational organized crime uh, from a regional perspective that brings together um, countries uh, such as Brazil, um, Suriname, Guyana, French Guyana, but also their CARICOM uh, uh, counterparts. Um, indeed, uh, the issue of uh, transnational organized crime, as it's been uh, highlighted throughout the conference uh, is transnational in nature. Um, so I think it, it was very enriching to have not just um, sub-regional blocks, but to bring in more perspective from both uh, uh, land, continental, uh, South America and, uh, and, and, and the Caribbean. Um, I think one of the major topics that um, came up as a preventive uh, prevention measure against transnational organized crime is adequate border control uh, management, uh, which is something that UNODC um, has a strong interest in uh, and that we, we would be willing to contribute through our flagship programs, such as uh, the Container Control Program, the AirCorp Program, and the Global Maritime Crime Program, and their specialized programs uh, that look at wildlife trafficking, um, environmental crime, fisheries crime, which are emerging um, threats in the region. Uh, in fact, from what we see, and uh, it's become evident also through solid research, uh, transnational organized crime groups are not only dedicating themselves to, um, to drug trafficking, arms trafficking and movement in, uh, of people, but they are diversifying their uh, illicit businesses um, having direct impact on environment and resources that enable uh, sustainable development in uh, Latin America and Caribbean communities. So what I hear the conference was very fruitful. Did, uh, did the conference met your expectations? Yes, it did. Um, as, as, I, as I said, it was very uh, rich in uh, uh, the perspective it brought uh, from uh, all the participating countries. Uh, what we heard is countries that uh, know exactly uh, what their threats are and have a clear vision on how uh, they need to be addressed with the support of international and regional partners. Uh, and uh, the UNC is very pleased uh, to see this commitment, uh, the willingness to work together uh, on these important matters to keep our communities safe.